Hi, hello guys. This is Ignish. Welcome to Architects Learnings. In this video, we are going to see about how to explode the cube. So let's see how to do it. To make that effect, we have to create three dimensional array of cubes. What is three dimensional array of cubes? If you see here, this is one dimensional array of cubes. Array is nothing but a copy of items in a particular distance. So if you see, this is one dimensional. If I make this as a grid, then that is the two dimensional array of cubes. If I copy these things into z axis also, then it will be three dimensional array. So if you see, we already made the one dimensional array. This is from series common one video. If you haven't watched that video, you can watch it by clicking on the link above. Let me explain quickly how this algorithm works. So we made the cube. Then we move it in x direction with a series component. So we use series component to multiple copy of the cubes. So this is start. So we can control where it is starting. And this is step. So how much distance it has to be in between cubes. Those things controlled by this, this number slider. And this is count how many number of cubes. So I'm keeping it six. So now we have to move this in y direction so for that what do we have to do same thing we have to copy this so copy move component and paste it so we have to take this geometry and copy into y direction so i am taking this geometry and connecting to the geometry and we have to move this in y direction so i am connecting this y and the same parameter i want to copy so just connect the series to factor so if you see this is not what we wanted we want to make the grid but why this is happening like this because grasshopper use longest list as a default data matching we have seen about these things in data matching video if you haven't watched it you can watch it by clicking on the link above so for better understanding i am making start as a zero the next cube is in 41 mm let's make it 50 mm so we can understand better so if you see first uh, first cube is in zero then 50 mm 100 mm 150 mm 200 mm 250 mm so same value has moved in this direction also so this is zero this is 50 mm this is from here to 100 mm this is from here to 150 mm like that it is moved we have to copy this cube six times. We have to copy each cube six times. For that, we will use cross reference. So, we have talked about the cross reference also in data matching. So, uh, take a look at it. So, let's use cross reference. If we use cross reference, it will connect each item to every distance. So, I am going to join this geometry here and join the distance to list b this is distance this is the geometries then the geometry i am going to connect it here then i am going to connect this list into motion i hope you all understand i just take this geometries connected to the cross reference list a then take it from there to move geometry this is list b that is the distance we have to move in the y direction i take that to list b and list b connected to motion we made a grid, uh, two dimensional array of cubes so let's hide this because this is not necessary anymore so let's hide so we made two dimensional array now we have to make three dimensional array so for that we have to repeat the steps copy paste here but we don't need y direction we need in z direction we want the same parameters so i can this list b to here and if you see we have to take this geometries to list a so we can make 
multi-dimensional array of cubes. Hope you all like it. So that's all. Now we will make exploding of the cube. Okay. For that, it is very easy. For better visual, I'm going to make rendered. So if you see, this is the cubes. So now I'm going to reduce the distance to zero. If you see, there is only one cube. If I increase the distance, it explodes. It's just for fun. Hope you all like it. So we can animate this also in Grasshopper by clicking on animate. That is for another video. So let's see you on next video. Bye.